My name is Peggy Flanagan and I'm the Executive Director of Children's Defense Fund Minnesota. I had a really uh, great experience at the U and I think because I majored in child psychology with a minor in American Indian Studies, I got a really great lens um, through which uh, you know to experience the university but also to educate myself. As far as classes go, you know, I, I graduated Phi Beta Kappa, I was like a total nerd in a good way. Uh, I think, you know, uh, I'll be honest, in high school I didn't take things as seriously as I should have and I got to the university and became a sponge because suddenly I had a teacher who looked like me and was surrounded by other students who had the same passion um, and in a lot of ways the same drive that I did and that was that was great and my plan was to be an early childhood special education teacher. Um, I was gonna work for a year, take a year off and then I worked on Senator Wellstone's campaign and everything changed uh, and I was like oh electoral politics and advocacy and policy making uh, this can also be a path and so I ended up uh, working for an organization called Wellstone Action, which is the nonprofit that grew out of the late Senator Paul Wellstone's campaign and was there for eight years. So I ran our Native American uh, leadership program there and traveled across the country working in communities to um, work on different campaigns, organizing issues, and really help folks um, develop you know, power and a community voice. Uh, in the last two years that I was at the organization, I was a director of external affairs, so built relationships with folks all across the country country with regards to progressive movement building uh, and then uh, was tapped by Marianne Wright Edelman who uh, is the head of the Children's Defense Fund um, and she asked me to apply uh, for the executive director position in Minnesota and that was a little over two years ago so I went from really having a very national perspective um, in the work that I do to having a very central local perspective in, in Minnesota. And that's been uh, wonderful. Um, I have a two and a half year old daughter and so her uh, best interest is clearly uh, my priority. And so when I get to go to work every day, I'm not only um, advocating on behalf of children across the state of Minnesota, I'm advocating for my own child. So I've been fortunate to have the experience to work you know, very broadly and nationally and also now um, to work very uh, locally here at home. You know, it's important when you're doing advocacy work to have a really diverse set of experiences. And frankly, um, there aren't enough advocates for children and families. And so I think uh, having a, a background in child development has allowed me um, to have, uh, I think, more persuasive conversations uh, with elected officials and others uh, than I might have had uh, with a different with a different major. The professors and the graduate student advisors are um, incredibly thoughtful, and they often uh, check in with me and see how I'm doing and and still cheer me on. And that's the kind of community that I think the the child psych department um, creates. And so, if you're thinking about being a psych major, um, but you have a passion for for young people, I. Think I would encourage you to um, to look to to this program and to this department. And you can add a minor. You can you know take additional classes and make this what you want. But I think child psychology, youth development, um, and really investing in young people um, is something that we have to be. Um, all of us have a responsibility for. So why not make it make it your major? <laughs>